so today video I didn't really plan to do what I did I was going to do like scab kind of hands like kind of holy scabby hands but I was just experimenting and I was like oh yeah might do blisters slash burnt hands <laughs> because why not combine both because I don't really know what to call it it's just a hand thing because I think loads of people have either accidentally burnt their hand doing you know twirly or they kind of like were trying to reach for the hairbrush and they reached for their curling iron or their straightener and it's like ah, and it kills um, this is a very extreme burn but you know could happen if you hold it on for a long time. I just want to tell you that um, I had a lot of actions that were kind of off camera because the camera was high up and I kept forgetting to check where my hand was and my hair's in the way. Damn you hair! Uh, but I hopefully explain alright and you can kind of see what you have to do. The cat is escaping yes I hope you enjoy it I am still learning things so it's not like amazing but it's kind of I'm quite impressed with it actually not gonna lie and it does look like my previous experimentations which my other kind of ones that I've tried to recreate from experimentations hasn't worked does that make sense so we'd just like to point out before we start even though you've already watched this but I would just like to mention my amazing acting skills, I know. <laughs> I really don't want to put it in. It's so cringy, I'm like, oh, oh my god, my hand. <sighs> Trying to create interesting videos, okay? And me going, oh, it's the best I could do. I hope you enjoy. So I'm starting off with liquid latex, which is becoming my best friend in special effects looks. So I'm first starting off with layering um, kind of two long oblong shapes on my palm and then in the centre of my fingers and then the top of my fingertips. Just kind of imagine how you would grab a curling iron or any type of hot appliance. Um, and I do end up doing three, three layers I think, mostly on the palm section. This is the my previous experimentation. Ignore the fingers, they didn't really go well. But if you can see the actual palm itself, that was kind of my experimentation the day before. That's what I'm trying to recreate. So if you kind of crunch your fingers together, it kind of creates this ripped skin effect anyway. So that's kind of ideal. And this is my second layer, and as I said, I do do three layers. Don't do as much on the fingertips because I'm kind of mostly leaving them. And then when it's dry, I'm just getting my tweezer and start picking at the skin, you know, trying to make it so a blister's burst, kind of flaky, burnt off skin kind of vibe. And sorry for my hair, it looks quite gross, but I completely forgot that it was in shot. And then creating another very thin layer of latex just here to add extra skin to look like the blister has burst. And once again going with my tweezers very carefully peeling off because it is quite a thin layer of latex. Now using this powder you could easily use pressed powder and just to reduce the shine and the stickiness from the latex. Here is just my colour wheel that I use in everything and this is a lot that was out of shot but I just coloured it in, used the red marks first, going to the deep cuts, um, as you can see here, so getting right under the latex so there's no skin and mixing in with yellow and brown and green, just creating different shades and making it look very irritated. Here 
here you can see I've been using more browns and darker colours, mixing them together, going around the edges of the skin, um, create more irritation. I'm then kind of using the grease foundation and just making the liquid latex look a bit more the same colour. And then going in with the other colours just to make it look more irritated and a bit more burnt. And then going with the white grease paint just to highlight bits of my hand, you know, the, the high points of the skin. And then going in with some black just to darken areas as well. Like inside of the cuts and inside of just the ridges. And that's all the colouring in. I'm then taking this stage blood, which is a um, syrup based blood, and just applying it inside the cuts and the ripped skin. And that's the final look for you. Hope you enjoyed. Drops again. <laughs> <laughs>